In today's modern baking, whenever you see something on a book, like a print or an image, you so want it to be on your cake. And that is so simple today. Hello and welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana and the Ultimate Baking Series with me, Chef Apraz. Today, I'm going to show you a very interesting recipe of zebra cake. So let's start making it. First, I'm going to grab a large bowl to which I'm going to add one and a half cup of castor sugar. And now into the sugar, I'm going to break three eggs. With this, I'm going to add some vanilla essence. And now with the help of an egg beater, I'm going to beat this. And now I'm going to beat this till all the sugar is dissolved and we get a nice ribbon consistency. Now see, we have achieved the ribbon consistency. And now at this stage, I'm going to add oil, around half cup of oil. Beat this again. So now after beating this with oil, I'm going to sift the refined flour. So in goes one and a half cup of refined flour. And along with that, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. And now using cut and fold method, I'm going to fold this. I'm going to fold this gently. The reason behind adding oil in this recipe is to make the cake nice and soft. And now once the refined flour is nicely incorporated with the mixture, I'm going to add some milk. So around half cup of milk. Again, I'm going to fold this mixture. So now our cake batter is ready. I'm going to quickly divide this into two. And now after dividing the mixture into two, I'm going to I'm going to add some color. So into one bowl, I'm going to add white gel color. And to the other, I'm going to add black color. And now I'm going to mix this nicely. So now that I've colored the batter, I'm going to start pouring this into a baking tin. So first I'm going to take a ladle and take the white batter pour this right in the center. The batter has to be a little liquidy as we want this to spread. And then I'm going to scoop another layer of black. And again, I'm going to repeat the same process. So after pouring the batter into a pattern, I'm going to slightly dab this. And now this will go in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 30 to 35 minutes. So now you see the cake has perfectly baked. Quickly I'm going to demold this and place this on a wire rack. And then I'm going to let this cool and come down to the room temperature. So now that the cake has come down to the room temperature, I'm going to take this on a cake board. And now let's trim the hard crust. And now let's trim the sides. So now after trimming the cake from all the sides, let's cover this with some whipped cream. So first, I'm going to apply a little at the base so that the cake stays stable. And then I'm going to cover this with the whipped cream. And now let's cover the sides. And now for a clean finish, I'm going to dip my I'm going to dip my knife in hot water. So after covering the cake with the whipped cream, I'm going to take a small portion of whipped cream 
and to the whipped cream I'm going to add edible gel color. I'm going to mix the cream with the color. So now that I've mixed the whipped cream with the black color, I'm going to quickly take a piping bag and then I'm going to put a flat nozzle into the piping bag and then I would add this black cream into the piping bag. Now I'm going to start piping this. So here you go, the zebra cake is ready. It doesn't only look interesting, but also tastes delicious. So do give it a try. Hi, my name is Afraj, and if you want to learn new, exciting, and innovative recipes, do subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana.